it is so cool to be here with you at the uh, Paradise Nightclub. You're getting ready to go up on stage. And tell me, before you go up, do you get more nervous at something like this before you're, you know, strapping on your musical equipment or before a big game? Uh, probably when I when I try to fake them with the music because I don't know what I'm doing. And I don't play, so once, once the game starts, nothing I can really do. I mean, people are here. They're ready to have a good time, and it's all for a good cause. Yeah, it is for a great cause. People who love music, people who love baseball, get together 14 years in a row now, raised a ton of money for nonprofits that serve disadvantaged youth in this area. So it's, uh, it's a great night. I have to say this because I'm older than you, but I'm very young. You're a young guy, and you did something here that our grandparents never were able to fully absorb and bring a World Series championship. I mean, you're from here. What did that really mean? You know, and, and you're still beloved. Everyone loves you around here. You, you know that. Uh, depends who you ask, but no, that, it was 10 years ago now. So, you know, I, not every, I don't think about it every day, but when I reflect back on it, it just brings back those feelings of being so happy to play a small part in helping make a, a, an entire region joyful. And it was more than about just the present. It was about generations and generations of fans um, who couldn't make it all the way there. And the way, it, the way it touched families and brought people together. You know, I'll never forget driving from Logan to Fenway after we came back from St. Louis and seeing already all the pennants and Red Sox hats on the gravestones. Just really brought home what it meant. And it was such a great group effort that, uh, you know, we'll never forget it. It was something that um, was special for the whole, whole region. I'm here with Paul Epstein, co-founder of Hot Stove Cool Music with his twin br brother, Theo. And Paul, this is a tremendous event, a staple of the Boston scene in January. Tell us about the genesis of it and how you guys decide to do it. Yeah, an interesting thing is that the concert series actually predates the foundation to be named later. It started out 14 years ago. We've only had the foundation about nine. Started the charity uh, in the afterglow of that first World Series, 2005. And uh, it was a natural to join up with the Hot Stove Cool Music because it was already established. They were raising money for good causes like the Jimmy Bun. We jumped on board, and the musicians have been so supportive. It really has become a staple. Now, as a Brookline High baseball player, who was better, you or Theo? Oh, you didn't do your research. I didn't play baseball. I was soccer. Theo was baseball. Kind of like uh, he, had a, he was a junk ball pitcher. He had the velocity of Tim Wakefield, but the bad news is that was his fastball. So do you still harbor dreams of playing in the MLS? Uh, I'm still playing soccer, but we just turned 40. It's all downhill from here. Tell me about it. He's Paul Epstein. Paul, great night, hot stove, cool music. Best of luck in the future. Thanks a lot, John. Appreciate it. This guy needs no introduction. Mike O'Malley, Hollywood legend, also the MC at Hot Stove Cool Music. John, what is, what John has, has, has two more handsome men ever been on television at the same time together than you and I? Absolutely, no doubt. Clooney, I know Matt Damon, never. No chance. You worked with all of them, but this is your the height of your career. What does this event mean to you? I absolutely love what this uh, event means for raising money for kids in Boston. Theo Epstein, Bill Janowitz, Kay Hanley, Peter Gammons, they go out every year, Paul Epstein, they go out and, and, and hit their Rolodex. They still use Rolodexes, actually, these old Rolodexes. It's, a, it's an ancient thing that never goes out of order, but anyways. <laughs> The battery doesn't go out on a Rolodex. I want you kids to know this. No, it does not. That's a good they, thing. They raise money for people in Boston. That's the bottom line. It's an amazing, amazing event. And I just, what I love about being from New England is there's so many people who want to give back to this community and, and try to make lives better for other people. It's a great night of music. If you haven't been to a hot stove, come. It's a great night. Mike O'Malley, always a pleasure, man. John, good to see you. Fresh.